What is going on guys? I hope you're doing well. Now in this video, I want to talk about how you can qualify, how you can basically decide and calculate, not calculate, that sounds really mathematical, but like just decide how strong a particular break is, a break of structure. And I want to talk to you about the kind of the small little nuances and what I look for and just a simple two-step process pretty much. Um, so yeah, so if you're interested in that, interesting about how to, you know, spot a false break, etc., all of that fun stuff, then this will probably be the video for you. But first of all, my name is Sam. I help struggling traders break through to consistency. In the description box below, there is an application for one-on-one -on -one coaching. That is very exciting exclusive. Not many people get through to that. So apply only if you're serious. But everybody else, PsychFX Academy is what I recommend. It's where I share my analysis, weekly analysis, daily sometimes. And uh, yeah, everything from strategy, psychology, the infrastructure, the self-review, all of that fun stuff. You've heard me say another video, so I'm going to stop talking about it for now. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So structure break. Now, why is structure break important? Well, if you're like me and you like market structure, then generally speaking, structure break is going to happen in two places. It's going to happen at some point around these levels here. Okay. We have seen a structure break here because we've broken and made new highs indicating what? Indicating bullish sentiment, or at least reaching for buy side uh, liquidity. And if we did come down here and then we broke past these lows down here, this would be the second break. And so a break is a very, very important thing to be able to identify the strength of and to be able to really figure out if it's uh, if it's going to benefit your particular setup or if it's going to actually harm it. OK, and so it's very, very important that we understand it. And so. The way that I like to quantify it is, first of all, we've got to draw on the wicks because the wicks of previous highs and lows, I find are extremely, extremely important, at least for how I like to do this. OK, and so for me, a break comes down to two things. Number one is we need an impulsive close above below. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, I mean, if we just have, let's say this is the previous wick. So this is the previous kind of major high. So let's just get rid of this right here. Okay, in fact, let's just shorten this wick down. Okay, this will all make sense in a second. Sorry if it's not the best drawing. But let's say this wick comes up here. Price kind of barely breaks above and it's got like a massive wick up here. This new close, I would not class as an impulsive close above below. And I'll go into some more examples of this, or some actual you know chart examples, not this shocking drawing um, in just a second. OK, because if we've impulsively closed above the previous wick, meaning the high or low, then that is our first indication that we've got a, you know, a clean break of structure. Now, in some situations, this is going to be obvious. In other situations, it's not going to be so obvious. And again, I'm going to come to some examples of that in just a second. But just remember, with anything in trading, the cleaner setups always work better. OK, they will always be easier. They'll be easier for your mind to see. And if you're just patient and you wait for when it's very, very obvious to you and you just wait for your levels to be hit and then you look for whatever confirmation you look for. I'm telling you right now, your trading will increase or improve exponentially, okay? Because for me, I always used to rush. I used to get in and then I couldn't hold trades and I just had various other problems. By the way, if you want to see a video on um, how to hold trades longer, because that was the biggest thing I've ever had to overcome, then drop that in the comments section below. But anyway, so the second thing that I look for, okay? So impulsive close above below. Number two is hold. OK, now, how long should it hold for? Well, in my opinion, it should hold for a three candle minimum. OK, three candles minimum. OK, now this is just the general rule of thumb. It's not like, oh, my God, it held for two candles, but there are huge wick rejections. It looks like, you know, it's it's not like, oh, like if it's not three, like I can't do it. Like it's not it's never so black and white. But generally, I find that three is just a nice minimum to have. And ultimately, if you're having to ask yourself the question, is this holding? Generally speaking, it will be because it's not holding. And ultimately, you want the candle close um, just to be above, you know, in this example for the bullish break, let's just get rid of that wick because it looks disgusting. Uh, if we come back up here, we want those candles to be, you know, the bodies to be above this area. OK, ultimately, the number one thing that we are avoiding when we're looking for strong breakouts is we're avoiding the breakout and break back in. OK, that is the only major thing that we are trying to avoid. OK, because time and time again, we're going to see liquidity being grabbed below and then pushing higher on the buy side. We see the same thing right here. And then this, on the buy side right here and on the sell side, sorry, we see it coming over 
here okay and so this is going to happen time and time again okay and so this is why again it's important to wait for the candle close the candle close is what is going to give you the information that you need to continue analyzing things correctly because for me if i'm trading mainly off the four hour chart okay if i've got a busy schedule and, or something like that then i know that the four hour close for me is the 10 a.m and the 2 p.m i'd love to say that i'm up at 6 a.m but i'm just not okay that's just not me i've always preferred trading new york really um but you know 10 a.m is kind of the first if i'm trading the four hour the first time i'll really look um at the charts okay if i'm doing kind of a little bit more scalping or lower intraday then sure i may do um you know the, the one hour and check it hourly or something like that or maybe the two hour but again that is a topic for another time i am trying to avoid going off on tangents <laughs> so um Right, so let's look at a few examples of this. So we're on the four hour chart right here. So let's just have a quick look. So straight off the bat, if we just look here, okay, because we can see the structure is going up, high lows, very slight. I wouldn't even consider that a high high. In fact, let's just mark this on right here, okay? So this is the high of the previous candle. Now, would you consider this a new higher high just because it's made a wick above? Mm, I would not, um, especially not on the higher time frames. okay? Above here, at this point, we've made this new high high, higher than this last major high. We're not looking for this high to be broken because this isn't even a higher high. Like this is just a failure to break above this higher high. Okay. And then we come back up here, we come back, we've tested it, we've held it for one, two, three candles, and we've got all of those bodies above that area right there. And then we come up here. Have we made a higher high? Because at this point, this is our last higher high, isn't it? Have we made a higher high here? No. OK, so where's our last higher low? Well, it would be from where this last area was met. So it would either be from here or it would be from down here. OK, so let's just stay patient here because we're not looking at the higher lows in this example right here. Have we made a higher high? No, we have not made a very strong higher high whatsoever. OK, now this is very important information for us, because if you've seen any of my previous videos and you know how much the last higher low is important or just it's just basic shift in market structure. Um, but you know, if you'd had this level marked on thinking this was your last higher low, you may have got caught on the wrong side of this. You wouldn't because of obviously, you know, now the rules of how to spot a good breakout versus a fake breakout. We have breakout candle, second candle, third candle breaks back in impulsively. This is exactly what we don't want. OK, so let's keep following this through and seeing what we get. So we've made this temporary lower low. We look like we're coming straight back up and then we've made this high at this point in time. OK, oh, did not mean to use that. So. Right here, we've seen this high right here, and we failed to break above it over here with these candles right here, okay? We failed, okay? But what we've seen here, now at this point in time, we have been looking at this going, okay, potentially we could be looking at a breakout. But remember, we need that level to hold and we need it to impulsively break. So this isn't the most impulsive break, but it is decent, you know, it's a decent candle close. But then the next candle, we have this, okay? Now, let me just link this back um, slightly to what I touch on in another video. I think it's the previous video that came out or maybe it's the one coming. I can't remember because I've just finished recording that one, uh, but I'm not sure how I'm going to going to schedule it. Um, but essentially, because each time frame should have a purpose, you know, if you're following the three step, uh, three step structure, which is a number one directional bias, number two area of interest and then number three uh number three entry trigger I almost forgot my own formula there <laughs> but you should have a time frame assigned to each of these so in this case let's say it's the four hour for this let's say it's the uh one hour for this and then let's say it's just the five minute for this for example okay now let's just say your directional bias as we're uh, as we're measuring here is we're using market structure okay and market structure is largely based around being able to read the breaks effectively and being able to read the flow and the direction of price okay that's all market structure is and if we're on the 4 hour time frame here and we're analyzing those breakouts okay you'll notice as you go down time frames let's say like this and you've got this level marked on from your 4 hour you'll look at this and be like oh my god it's holding one candle, two candle, three candles, it's clearly rejecting, it looks like it's going higher, and you'll begin to think that it's going up. And here is the key, okay? If you've got a level marked out on your directional bias time frame, so let's say the four hour, I'm using four hour for market structure, you do not take any new signals, you do not 
confirm a break until it's been confirmed on the time frame that you have uh, that you were using for directional bias. So, for example, here we would need to see a four hour uh, close here, and then we need to see two more slash just any form of it holding, as we've said with our other rules for breaking. We'd need to see that happen on the four hour. Because if we use the four hour and then we're watching price on the 15 minute, like I just showed you, it's going to look like price is holding when it's really not. And so it's very important when you're analyzing structure that you only have one main time frame that you're looking at it on for direction, if direction is part of your plan. OK, and as we can see here, you know, price eventually ended up coming a little bit lower before bouncing off this um, demand zone over here, eventually taking out these highs above here. Uh, and then coming back uh, down all the way down to those lows. But that's a topic for another time, okay? But essentially, market structure is very, very simple, okay? And if you know how to read breaks, you're going to be in a very, very good position, okay? So let's look at a couple more examples here. So over here, we have this last higher, uh, lower high, okay? Very obvious last lower high created this lower low down here job done okay if you're on the two hour time frame this would have been this could have been a very aggressive last lower high eventually as it shifts up potentially giving you short-term buy positions but again that's a topic for another time if you'd like to see a video on that as well leave a comment being a little bit specific in the comment section below and i'll definitely reply to you um, and uh, potentially make a video on that for you but notice as we come down as we come back Notice right here, okay, because ultimately on a lower time frame, I guarantee you this is going to look like structure break or it's going to look like it's holding. Okay, well, looks like that guarantee didn't work because it just looks like it's just given you some fake kind of signals that are very, very easy to read. Okay, potentially we can go down. Okay, you've got to love trading view and it just doesn't let you go that far back. Um, but let's just let's just go here. Let's cut to the five minute and see if it lets us do that. OK. Yeah. So here, you know, again, it, you know, this you could have argued that it was kind of holding. But again, it's just about using the same time frame that you've used the structure on. So let's look for some actual examples that work and not some um, rubbish examples like those ones. OK, now this over here might actually be a good example. So at this point in time, depending again how aggressive you read structure, you could have had this level right here. And I'm going to point out the exact candle just in case it's not obvious. But this candle right here could be seen as a lower high. If it's not clear to you, feel free to look at this right here. OK, because this we came down, we came up and then we created this lower low, lower than these previous lows over here. Now, again, if we were to come up here and cut down to our five minute time frame, and see what structure is telling us. This could potentially look like price is impulsively broken above. It stayed pretty much above, had another impulsive push, stayed above, 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 and it looks like it's going to continue going up. But in reality, it's just collecting orders. And this is going to be a way that you can spot those lower time frames tricking you out and just not get caught into the rat race. Okay. And again, I talk about this in that other video, whether it's out before, whether it was out before this, or whether it was out or is coming out afterwards. But essentially, guys, don't overcomplicate it. Just avoid the breakout and the break back in. Let me just write out that extra thing as well. Only take uh, apply these principles to the time frame you're reading structure off of. Okay, simple. Pause the video, whatever you need to do. This is it, guys. Don't overcomplicate it. I really, really hope that this helps you. Um, you can apply it for entries if you're using lower time frame structure break for your entry or anything like that. Direction, whatever it is, just make sure that you are aware of what time frame you're reading the structure off of, and then you are translating that into where you're taking your breakout signals from and your fake out, therefore liquidity grab signals from. So I really, really hope that this has helped. If it has, I'd really appreciate you leaving a like on the video. It does help support um, the channel and help show uh, this video to more people. Uh, but I appreciate all of your support as always. Go check out the links in the description if you want to take your trading to the next level. And until next time, guys, take it easy. Remember, trading is just a numbers game. It's not about being right. It's not get rich quick. It's difficult. But if you keep going with it, like any skill, you are going to uh, and you keep focusing on the right things then you should um, improve and uh, improve fairly you know quickly compared to um, you know the traditional trajectory you know for me it took two years um, pretty much so you know hopefully you know with the right guidance you can um, accelerate that process but anyway I'm blabbling now um, thank you for watching I appreciate 
um, you so much. Uh, and until next time, take it easy and happy trading.